people of um, Mr. Ngoma himself, like Ruben and Sarah. You know, these guys are so kind. You know, they, they would help people they don't know with the little that they have. And I love their spirit because these guys are so determined. You know, so I think having a heart like Ruben and Sarah would make you a better person in life. You know, it doesn't really kill. I don't think it kills to be a human. YouTube channel to start with my name is Maria Mulenga and right next to me is Alice so guys as you can see we are in the Gomez house which is Sarah's and Ruben's so guys as you can see on the title it's saying channel take over so we've decided I and my sister to take over the Ruben and Sarah's channel so of late Ruben and Sarah have been so so busy and the channel has been off lately and we don't like the fact that the channel has been dormant so guys, if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing, liking, share if you can, and give this video a, a thumbs up. up. So guys, just to keep you posted on this uh, Ruben and Sarah's channel, today my sister and I are going to talk about being a humanitarian. Yeah. So uh, to start with, I think uh, I need to explain to you more about uh, being a humanitarian because maybe I might be talking of something and then people are not even sure what I'm talking about. Exactly. Yeah, so being a humanitarian is actually uh, helping out. Let's say I've got something, I've got money, I've got food, I've got clothing, I've got shoes. You know, I can't just keep all that to myself. There are people out there who are willing to have those things that I have. So as a humanitarian, I need to share those things out to help out. And after being a humanitarian, don't expect anything in return because being a humanitarian is like just giving willingly, wholeheartedly, like expecting nothing in return. Exactly. So as a humanitarian, you need to give with an open heart. And when you give, you forget. Don't give and keep your mind while you have given something. So it could be you're helping your neighbor, it could be you're helping your classmate, you can help uh, the, the street kids on the street. Don't, okay, there are those street kids that come from different places, let's say, some just run away from their homes. But how are you going to understand the child has just run away from home? And you don't have to be educated to be a humanitarian. You don't have to be rich. You just have to be yourself. Either poor or rich, you have to be a humanitarian to help others that don't have anything. You might have clothes that you want to like give out. You can give street kids that don't have and other people that just don't have what you have exactly i'll give an example of um mr ngoma himself like ruben and sarah you know these guys are so kind you know they, they would help people they don't know with the little that they have and i love their spirit because these guys are so determined you know so i think having a heart like ruben and sarah would make you a better person in life you know it doesn't really kill i don't think it kills to be a humanitarian do you know, think doesn't exactly so i think being a humanitarian is actually even getting blessings from the lord yeah. so i think let's be those people that are trying to help let's not be selfish and keep things to ourselves to say okay this is mine you understand that's why it comes in it's not because you, you are in university you are in college that's the only way you can help to say maybe because you've gotten some source of income from somewhere no you can also be somebody you can be illiterate you can be anything. You can, you be, can be a house helper. Exactly. You can be a get man. Exactly. But just have a heart like Ruben. As long as you've got anything to give, just offer. You won't die. Give out. Make people feel happy. And like then you, you lose also nothing. You exactly. Lose, you lose nothing when mm -hmm. you are a humanitarian. Uh, so, guys, um, what's your take in um, this thing of being a humanitarian? Like, you guys have to comment. Tell us what you think about being a humanitarian. Let us know about what you think about being a humanitarian. Exactly. So, guys, uh, you know, I was trying to go back a bit. If you go around the streets, uh, find those kids that sleep around. Have you... Okay, I hear, I hear people saying... Some of them just run away from their homes. Like, how can somebody run away from a home Imagine. where he or she is being kept nicely? Everything is okay. Like, how can... Are you telling me somebody is going mad or somebody is okay? 
there should be something wrong that's what i think from my thinking so you guys and have to tell me my point of view i think some parents are very arrogant rude and violent against their children because the words that you use on your child also matters i think using abusive words on children is not good at all because you might choose an, abu an abusive word on a child sorry and the child would start thinking are these really my parents or maybe i was just adopted by that thought it will take the child out like it will make the child go out and become a street kid that's what i think exactly and uh you know to speak of um let's say us girls uh, us girls let's say a, a girl doesn't have where to stay like she's a, she's been a street kid all this time she doesn't have who to help her you know you can even just talk to somebody and cancel them you know when you speak to somebody it really gives them ideas and it really opens their brains and you'll find that most of these street kids that are on the streets most of them are very intelligent you would speak to somebody to say when you when you get one of them or two you can either get one or two as, as many as uh, as many as you want sorry so you can speak to any of the two you you just train them try them let's see how they think so you find that most of them are so intelligent to say if you took them to school, if you help them with whatsoever you had as a humanitarian, they will become a better a, a better person. So I think especially for us girls, let's say if I was a street kid roaming around the streets, don't you think I would have been something else by now? It's because I have responsible parents. They they like know a way to talk to me as a child. When I'm wrong, they'll talk to me properly. And I still don't believe the fact that um, those kids that are found on the streets just run away from home because nowadays that's how it is. People have even stopped helping. You know, they just don't even take it to say, okay, I can be a better humanitarian. I can help this child. I can talk to the child and make her, he or she a better person. They actually just believe in the fact that says no people have started running away from their homes sometimes i think it's because of how parents don't you think it's because yeah. of uh, how parents talk to their kids and um there are those like old men and women that are out there like a blind person a lame person they that they, they're trying to, to get a life like they're trying to get a life by begging for money from um rich people but some rich people act like they can't see them and the way they 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 answer back like when you beg for money they'll be like ah uh, you're just here for like they just want to benefit from me that's what some rich people feel but it's not actually that we don't know that person's exactly. background that's why so saying, we don't have to judge mm -hmm. so that's what i was saying being a humanitarian doesn't uh, require you to be a graduate you can actually help out somebody even if you, you haven't been in school, you have, as long as you've got something to help that person and make that person a better person, you can, you can easily get something and help them with anything that you have. Yeah. So guys, tell us what you think about uh, this thing of being a humanitarian. Leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. Yes. And don't forget to be a humanitarian. humanitarian. So for now, bye. bye.